welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction, guys. And this time, it's Norwich 1, Manchester United 2, through to the FA Cup semi-finals after extra time, after a long match. A match where we was winning 1-0 and then ended up equalising without creating too many chances or opening up the team. It was long, hard and well footed but truly deserved to go through to the semi-finals guys and yes let's go straight into the match action guys guys it was a poor start i have to say in the first 30 minutes where it was quite just, just simply just passing passing with no intent um a few chances just created but not not clear cut chances it was just it was just a match where you just saw the best of bruno fernandez versus norwich city because apart from that, it was only Bruno Fernandes who was doing much and creating much. Um, we we went straight into the into the into the first half one 0 up in the fortieth minute. Wonderful goal by Odion Ingalo. It's a great start to his career at Manchester United, and long may it continue. So all the way up to January. You ask me why we have until January, not to towards the end of next season. I don't know why. You know how Manchester United behave, guys. At times we behave like, sorry to excuse, excuse my language, fuck boys, you know, fuck boys. At times we are fuck boys, bona fide fuck boys. Yeah, making mistakes all the time, especially upstairs in the board. But yes, <clears throat> back to the game. The game in the second half with Tom Catwell equalising, making it one-one towards the ninety minutes, which meant that the, t the game will go straight into extra time, and from there. Paul Pogba came on, everyone, he threw everyone on. All the attacking players, including Martial and Ingalo and Rashford. Bruno Fernandes on the pitch as well. Paul Pogba on the pitch. Everybody up there. Even Mason Greenwood was up there. And still, we couldn't really penetrate. We couldn't find space. It was sad. It was hopeless at times when I was watching the match. Thinking, Oli, you really need to focus on working on attacking play and how to open up teams. Because... I'm worried. I'm worried that my team cannot find space, especially especially in the big games, especially in small pitches. Because at the end of the day, I want my team to find space, especially like if it was a woman on a single bed or two women on a single bed. You need to be able to find space. And sadly, 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 Manchester United cannot find space on a single bed. They need a double bed or, or king size or queen size to actually do what they need to do and have fun and be effective. Whereas I want my team to be an effective and efficient on a single bed mattress to be able to find space and open up teams. It is sad. It hurts my feelings that we cannot open up teams, especially teams who are not as good as us. We cannot do it, especially with all those attacking players. And it needs to be worked on the training pitch because it's not really shown on match day. And I truly believe that Oli doesn't work on this type of things. You know, it is totally freestyle, um, depending on individually good players. Guys, you let me know what you think, whether you think that it's been worked on or you see a slight improvement. I see something, but I just don't get the full picture. I don't see it. I don't see the full picture, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button as we go on if you're new to the channel, guys. So, yeah, Harry Maguire in the dying minutes of the second half of Extra Time ended up equalising it making it 2-1 and we won we're through to the next round of the semi-finals playing at Wembley but I'm I've got to say we need to work more on our, our attacking play what we do in possession of the ball guys you let me know if you think that's what you think as well if you feel the same way as me you know if you feel my pain because although we won there was a lot of flaws they were so many flaws but yes let's move it straight to the man of the match mm-hmm my man in the match today, I'm going to have to give it to Harry Maguire because he, he he bailed us out. Captain, the captain came and saved us and bailed us out. Showed true leadership and bailed us out. That's what i got to say. Um, I would have easily given it to Bruno Fernandes because he was the best player on the pitch. Didn't really do much, much wrong except for give the ball away a couple of times. But that's excusable because Bruno Fernandes, he can do whatever he wants because... I'm very sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. If he makes a mistake, you can see what he was trying to do. You can excuse you be like, hmm, I see what he was doing there. Mm -hmm. 
And that was very, very mighty clever and smart of him to try and make an attempt. Because I, I can foresee what would happen if that ball actually hit that opponent. He hit his own muscle, hit his teammate. It will end up in a goal. But when it's other people that are just passing the ball and making mistakes, I'm onto them. I'm like, yo, don't do that again. You are not Bruno Fernandes who starts taking random passes, exquisite passes, long-range passes. You're just trying to see what your imagination can go to. You don't do that. You are not Bruno Fernandes, and that's not excusable. But yeah, with Bruno Fernandes, he can do whatever he wants and get away with murder with me. Um, I, you can stab someone in the face and stab someone right now. I'm not going to be like, I ain't see that. Did you see that? Nope. I didn't see Bruno stabbing. No, not my Bruno. He can't even hurt a fly. He can't. No. But yeah, my donkey of the match today, guys. Donkey of the match. I have to say, Luke Shaw, defensively, good. Going forward, half-hearted. Half-hearted boy. You do not want to take him out for a shootout. You do not want him to, you do not want to take Luke Shaw to ride out on the ops. He will be half-hearted in the, in, the, in the car while everyone's saying, you ready, tooled up, everyone's tooled up, yeah? That guy will stay silent throughout the whole journey towards to, towards the end of shooting your ops because he will leave you hanging. He's half-hearted going to attack. That's the problem with Luke Shaw. He is half-hearted. And that's why he's my dunk in the match. He was at least impressive going forward again, just like the previous match, if you catch that. And I'll go straight into my player rating, guys. My player ratings, of course, in goal, we had Sergio Romero in goal. I would happily give him a seven, although he conceded. Sergio Romero doesn't concede when he starts. Let, let me tell you that now. He don't concede when he starts. I'm going to give him a seven, although he had pretty much nothing to do except for that time. Tom Cantwell took a shot. He let that in. I thought he could have easily saved that. Right back, we had Dalot who started. Dalot did nothing. Six straight up. Six, he was the least effective player as well. Him and Shaw. Uh, Eric Bay, I'm going to give him a seven as well. He was all right. He did his thing. And I would love to see him, the ideal partnership with Harry Maguire. I would love to see him play with Harry Maguire. And then we have Harry Maguire, our man of the match day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give him an eight for scoring that goal and leading the team. I saw times where Dalot was making a mistake and he was giving it to him. He gave him the screw face like... Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, I'm going to slap you in your face. Yeah? Don't ever do that again, right? Yeah? If your name is Dalot, do it again. Them frets there. If your name is Dalot, you know when your parents tell you, if your name is Patrick, if I'm Kwasi, do it again and see what happens to you. You don't want to do that again because you know what's going to happen to you. Yeah. So, yeah, and then we had on right back Luke Shaw, five. Least effective, done nothing for me, you know, done nothing for me. Scott McTominay and Fred were okay, but I'm going to have to give them a six because, of course, they didn't really open up teams too tough or thought they'd done what they had to do. Um, it was a lot lost of performance for Manchester United, to be honest with you, especially in midfield, um, apart from just the, the shining light of which was Bruno Fernandes. And on, on the wing, we had Juan Mata as well. Juan Mata, pff, um, Pay 60 minutes. Sadly, I have to, have to give him a six because I didn't really see what Romanta did, you know. And in midfield, seven for Bruno Fernandez, as always, evergreen, always doing his thing. Bruno, 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 you're done now. And we have playing on the wing, we had, um, who else did we have today? Bruno Fernandez, we had Jesse missing Lingard. I don't know what he did. He could have been my um, donkey of the match, but I'm just going to put NA. Non-applicable for this guy. Non-applicable. Really and truly. In going forward, in Garlo. My Niger brother. My Niger brother. Straight up. Straight up. Same score as Harry Maguire, as he scored a, fin uh, scored a wonderful goal in terms of the finish. It was wonderful. The terms of the finish was wonderful. I'm going to give him an 8 as well because he deserves that. My man's rating for today, Oli. I saw your deficiencies. I'm going to have to decide to give you 6 because, boy, I'm still questioning what you do in training. What you really do in training is concerning me. And, sorry guys, I, for some reason, I feel, 
yeah, that's all. Yeah, for some reason, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know how you guys feel about Oli, but I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. That's the match reaction. FA Cup will through to the next round. Our we our next game is a Premier League game sometime next week. Guys, remember it's a lovely day Sunday today. Have a beautiful Sunday. Make sure make sure you know make sure you praise the Lord as well because it is Sunday, it's the Sabbath day. All praises go to the most high. Please guys enjoy your Sunday and we go into the next week. We are through to the FA Cup semi-finals. We're going to Wembley. We're going to Wembley. So you you can't be upset. We're going to Wembley at the end of the day. We're, we're one step closer to winning the trophy. You know, just one more game. Hopefully we got we get a team in a position that we can just knock out and go straight to Wembley. Like, then again, if we can knock out Man City if they was to go through today, then it will be wonderful. It will give us an easier chance of winning the, tro the trophy. But apart from that, yes, do remember to follow the socials and remember to subscribe to Ready Night TV and smash that like button, guys, just down there in the corner and that subscribe button is just there. It only takes a few seconds. Remember to follow the social media accounts, which is just above this videos. You'll see all the link descriptions just below as well. Just have a check that if you want to. If you can't be bothered to look up there, then go straight, click the direct link, and you will get. And then make sure you follow, which is Ivorian underscore Spice for my personal IG and also, also and also Twitter. And for the Red United, it's Red United TV one. Gone past two thousand followers. Continue to follow, guys, and continue to show some support. Yes, guys, back at it again soon. Wonderful.